welcome to day nine of Christmas in Layla Land. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you're enjoying Christmas in Layla Land so far. Let me know, please. Right, today I'm doing a video that I've been asked by one of my beautiful and wonderful subscribers to make for you. They would like to get some tips and um, just have a discussion about winter skincare. As you can see, I have left myself completely as nature apparently intended, I don't know what I've done to her, but she is not happy with me right now. So that we can discuss it further. Um, winter skincare is something that I find really annoying. Um, skincare in general, my skin is the bane of my life and always has been. Um, even when it looks clear, it is painful all the time. In winter, our skin needs a completely different routine, completely different products, completely different ways of caring for it and that's because the environment is so so different in winter um if you are very lucky and you just have normal skin that just floats through the year and you just need a couple of little tweaks here and there then that's wonderful but for me personally for my viewer who's requested this video and i know for a lot of you out there it can be very very different between summer and winter in terms of what your skin needs i wanted to talk you through my routine and how i change things up for winter and why that is and just try and give you a few little tips along the way in the hopes that um you can experience a little bit of a calmer skin situation throughout the winter months so let's just crack on right so first of all sleeves up because we mean business this is an important job sleeves up thank you very much right so let me talk you through everything that i use on the daily so during the winter i tend to use a bit of a richer cleanser and just a different textured cleanser because my skin needs something different um so i am currently using the soap and glory peaches and clean i love soap and glory for just for the pony product names i mean come on so we've got the Peaches and Clean Amazing 4-in-1 Wash-Off Deep Cleansing Milk with Special Clogged Pore Formula with Peach and Go Juice Extracts um, with Oxy Ginseng Daily Skin Detox. So this is for all skin types. I do have sensitive skin and this is absolutely fine on my skin. There's no irritation whatsoever. I find it really nice to use. It's really silky and creamy to use. It rinses off really well. So that's the cleanser I'm using. I will talk you through it as I'm using it, but that's the cleanser. On to serums. And again, just like cleansers, just like moisturizers, I do tend to change what I'm using throughout the year, just based on my skin's needs. Um, one of the ones I don't need to change is my eye serum. And I'm still using the Revolution Skincare 5% Caffeine Solution for under my eye area. So this is 5% caffeine and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is brilliant for helping your skin to absorb more moisture. It's basically a moisture boost for your skin, but it attracts moisture and holds onto it as well. So this bad boy will literally inject moisture into wherever you put it onto your skin and then whatever products you put in over the top of it as well it will hold on to the moisture and keep it there face mask wise whilst it's like this i tend not to use anything that's too sort of anything that says it draws out impurities is brilliant however you will end up with more breakouts because it's drawing it out to the surface so anything that's kind of hydrating nourishing they're the words you want to kind of look for really um particularly going into winter because it's a shock to your skin your skin's kind of going oh what's all this cold weather and this heating and this oh it's too dry so we, we, we want something nourishing and this is the honey and royal jelly face mask from primark and this is just a gorgeous texture and consistency and just gives my skin a really good boost of moisture and nourishment lip scrub our lips obviously get dry and chapped over winter as well as lip balm or lip oil you need a scrub as well and this one is another one from primark and it's just the raspberry punch one i've been using this since i bought it um, a few weeks ago and it's really making a difference to um the texture of the skin on my lip and how well it's actually absorbing the lip oil that i use as well speaking of which i'm using the nyx this is everything lip oil which is just gorgeous i wouldn't say it's particularly flavored or scented um but it's just a beautiful texture it leaves a really nice shine on my lips without being too overboard and it's just 
instantly hydrating it doesn't just sit on the top and do nothing the skin on our lips is totally different skin to the skin on the rest of our face so it needs different products moisturizer i've got two to recommend for you i've got the revolution skincare hydration boost lightweight hydrating gel cream and i've also got the soap and glory for daily youth moisturizer there as well and it just totally boils down to personal choice and what your skin needs on that particular day depending on what my skin needs i might use this in the morning and i might use this at night time or i might use it the other way around um, but just play about with what your skin needs it's all about getting to know you and your skin and what it needs and what it's asking you for let's get into it i will go through the routine and i will show you what i use and i'll explain why i'm using it and we'll just we'll just get there right so first of all i'm onto the cleanser and as i said it's the soap and glory four in one peaches and clean cleanser so literally just a couple of pumps of that onto my hands oh god it smells gorgeous don't forget your neck smooth that all over the skin down onto your neck and i think this is another problem as well take your time cleansing our face in the morning and washing our face in the morning gets all the lymphatic drainage system moving it wakes the cells up kind of go from the side of your nose around your eyes little bit of pressure that starts to get your sinuses draining it's a bit of a lymphatic massage your lymph nodes basically carry fluids and toxins away and again from the side of the nose down and around the cheekbones just kind of follow your cheekbones around to your ears little bit of pressure and again down at the chin towards your ear as well a little bit of pressure this just gets the blood circulating it gets those lymph nodes moving and gets all that all those toxins moving all that liquid moving and keeping the fluid moving so it's not building up and again just take your time it's not going to kill anybody if you spend five minutes in the morning doing your skin it's just not right my secret weapon are these face cloths every time i go into primark i buy a pack of face cloths so i've got a wet face cloth and i'm just going to wipe over where we've put the cleanser okay there are two reasons for using this um one is to take off the cleanser that we just put down and the other is it actually gives your skin a little bit of an exfoliate right so that is our face cleansed so now not every day however when it's clearly having issues i will use a face mask at this point so i'm going to be using the jelly what is it i'm going to be using the honey and royal jelly face mask from primark this is quite a runny jelly so i literally just smooth that on oh my god it just smells like pure honey i love the smell of this and again don't forget your neck i will say with this one be careful if you're getting this particular one because it can drip <laughs> and then while we've got that done we can either just sit down you can make yourself a cup of tea you can just sit and drink that for five minutes ten minutes you can look through your diary and see what you've got going on you can maybe think right what have i got to do today sit down with a notebook and pen and write a to-do list of what it is you've got to do in a day it's it's that kind of it will just give you a few minutes to just be present and be mindful and to just take stock of what you've got to do in a day rather than constantly running around thinking right okay well, i've got to do this and then i'll go and do that and then i'll go and pick her up and then i'll go and walk the dog and then i'll nip to the shop and then i'll get tea on and it just helps you to just sit and calm nothing the world's not going to end if you have five minutes just sitting and thinking what it is you've got to do in the day it's fine so i'm going to just sit now i'm going to go and write my to-do list of what i've got going on today because i do have a busy day as usual and i'll be back in a second okie dokie that has sat you can see i've got a little bit of redness but again that's just my skin when water gets on it particularly so i'm going to go back to the face cloth now and the other side that we just used if you do have some time and you've got sort of the 20 minutes to sit with it on that's brilliant but if not it's a really good one to just put on five ten minutes and then just wipe it off again okay so at this point i then go in with my serums and i'm again using the revolution skincare five percent caffeine and hyaluronic serum um and this one is the under eye serum and i literally one drop that's all we need and then i want you to take your ring finger which is the one next to your little finger the fourth finger on each hand start at the inner corner and work your way out and just pat it to the outer corner i know this seems like a lot of steps and i know you're probably thinking layla i do not have time for this in the morning 
but I promise you once you get into the routine and once you get into you know kind of what products you're using and how it all works and how it all feels and how much you need etc it's super easy to fit in and it, it is worth doing okay so while that is doing its magic that is when I will go in with the lip scrub so just rubbing that in gently oh my god it smells so good and again with the face cloth Okay, so onto moisturiser, and I'm going to be using the Soap and Glory one, and this is the Fidel Youth um, 6 in 1 Multi Active Moisture Lotion. So, this is, um, it's a bit of a thicker texture to the Revolution Gel Cream. Oh, God, it just smells like nectarines. I love it. And this is actually, it's such a nice texture. As I say, it's a little bit richer without being too rich and without being too thick and without feeling like it's just going to leave a residue and sit on top. It actually sinks in which is what we want. We need our moisture creams, gels, lotions, whatever it is we're using to actually sink through those skin layers. We've got so many dermal layers um, and we actually need them. We need these products to sink through the layers and actually do something. So there we go, that product is now totally soaked in. It does not feel greasy at all just feels so nourished and so supple and that is exactly what we want our skin to feel like and again do not forget your neck okay so i am actually on um, antibiotics for my skin at the minute this is just a topical roll-on antibiotic if you are suffering with breakouts and they're not going anywhere i have adult acne so i didn't get acne as a teenager but mine started in my mid-20s um, and I've just found out, speaking to my doctor, that that lasts into your 40s, um, which I <laughs> can't wait for another few more years of this. Woohoo! Um, but yeah, so I take um, a topical antibiotic for my skin, which I just roll on once my skin is clean and I've got all my products on. So now I've moisturised, I just go in and do this. So this literally just stings like a mother. Um, and this just rolls on to wherever I've got a particular problem. Ow! And then the last thing I use is my lip oil from NYX. And oh, with that scrub, this is just the best. Okay, so now um, that's finished, that is my face completely clean. It's got its medicine on, it's moisturised, it's nourished. I've got my lip products working and doing their thing. Um, the last but best and biggest tip I can give you about skincare, particularly in winter, is water. It doesn't matter if it's from a bottle, it doesn't matter if it's out of the tap, I know that depends on where you live and all the rest of it, I, I'm quite happy to drink tap water, we have great tap water where we live, um, but yeah, bottled water is not expensive at all we get big trays of it for like two pounds it's fine um and these are really handy to just throw in my bag and take with me in the car i am a nightmare for drinking pop i don't drink tea and coffee so my caffeine comes from drinking like lucasade or pepsi <laughs> um which i know is really naughty but again because i'm in and out the house between the house and the car and i'm picking various people up and i'm doing various trips and jobs and all the rest of it um i tend to i get really thirsty and i take with me portable drinks so because i don't drink tea and coffee and i don't put them in these like travel cups i tend to just grab a can or a bottle of something and take it with me so i've started getting bottled water so that i can just grab a bottle of water and take that in the car instead i feel like in summer it's just so much easier for us to drink a lot of water because it's warmer we don't mind having salads, we don't mind drinking water, so we're getting a lot more moisture from our food and from just drinking water because we're hotter. In winter, we tend to go for the hot drinks, so we'll drink hot chocolate, tea, coffee, we'll go and get a pumpkin spice latte, um, you know, we'll go and get those festive cups from Costa or Starbucks. Um, we tend to eat more pasta or um shepherd's pies or you know the, the warmer more comfort food type of meals and our water consumption just disappears we just don't think about it as much our bodies absolutely have to have water and a certain level of it if you are not taking in enough water in the form of drinking it um your body is so so clever and it will take it from the food you're eating 
So if your foods aren't containing enough water either, then you end up feeling constipated, you end up feeling run down, you end up just feeling sluggish and not very well, and that comes out in our skin. So when your skin is looking tired and it's feeling tired and it's kind of got that grey shift to it and we're not sleeping very well and we're just not feeling very well, water is probably the answer and it will help whatever the answer is if water isn't the actual answer and there is something else going on water will help you can't go wrong so <clears throat> it says a lot that we can survive so much longer without food than we can with water we absolutely need water every cell in your body whether it's a skin cell whether it's a hair whether it's cells inside whether it's blood cells whether it's cells for, through your organs every cell in your body has got to have liquid fluid water to survive and it's 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 so annoying when you kind of think well i drink four cups of coffee it's that, that's got water in it it's not the same drinking water is absolutely essential and if we're talking skincare it's the biggest biggest tip i can give you is drink a lot of water the worst thing you can do as well is gulp it if you think right i'm going to go and get a drink of water now i'm going to go and get a glass of water while i'm thinking about it and you just go and fill a glass of water and gulp it down that's not doing you any good it will not be absorbed by your body it will just go from one end to the other straight out again and that defeats the object because we want it to be in our bodies long enough for our bodies to get hold of it absorb it take it to where it needs to be and the more you do that the less it will start taking from other areas and you just watch your body just function better your sleep um digestive health your skin everything now another top top tip i can give you is patience and just give it a month your skin takes 28 days to come up through those dermal layers i mentioned earlier and sit on our skin as the fresh new skin cells so if we're eating properly we're drinking enough water and we're looking after our skin then in 28 days by the time those skin cells have um, renewed and come up to the surface they're going to be the newer skin cells that have come up and are looking really healthy and feeling really healthy and your pores are going to be clearer if you're getting breakouts if you've started a new skincare routine particularly like drinking water if you're upping your water content the water will then flush out all the toxins that's another job that water does it literally flushes out all the toxins and poisons that your body does not want anymore so as it's flushing them out they've got to come out so you might find over those first couple of weeks that you feel like you're getting more breakouts and it's at that point you think oh my god what is the point why am i doing it? this product isn't working just give it time if your skin is something that is driving you insane keep a diary of what you've eaten in that day and how your skin's reacted what has happened in that day and how your skin's reacted um keep a diary of how much water you're drinking keep a diary of what products you've used and how they felt and how they felt over time and you will start to build up a picture of what your skin maybe needs seasonally and the difference it needs what products work what products don't work what ingredients to stay away from how stress affects you how different food groups affect you um but yeah just give it 28 days at least and just be a bit kinder to yourself just try and relax try and have at least 20 minutes every day where you just go and hide from everybody and put your favorite program on netflix or just snuggle up with your favorite drink and a candle on or whatever it is that makes you feel recharged just spend some time every day i used to go and hide in the toilet when the children were little <laughs> because it was the only place in the house where I was just not disturbed and I think as a single mum I needed that I worked I looked after these kids by myself which I would not change for anything in the whole wide world but it was stressful and I needed some time for myself and I, I couldn't really go and do anything or go anywhere um and if I went up to my room they followed me and if I went into the living room they followed me so I literally would hide in the bathroom I would say I'm just going for a wee and I'd just sit there <laughs> just have 10 minutes with nobody shouting at me nobody asking me for anything and if that's what you need to do 
go and do it. I hope you found some good tips in there. I hope that's helped. I hope it's all made sense. Um, I hope I've given you a few ideas and I hope you can take some of that on board and start to feel a little better in your skin and start to feel a little healthier and happier in yourself as well. Um, if you did like this video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up, please. Make sure you go and subscribe. Put that notification bell on. Leave me a comment and let me know that you've watched and what you thought. Um, leave any skincare tips that you have as well. Anything that you found or over your lifetime that you think works anything I've missed um if there's anything at all you can let me know about skincare that would be brilliant but let each other know as well down in the comments um so yeah come and follow me on social media if you haven't seen my instagram family advent calendar go and have a look we had so much fun at our Christmas photo shoot recently, which was shot by the amazing Alice Burt photography. We have a new picture every day, right the way up to Christmas Day, um, of the family and our activities at Christmas. So do go and check that out. Um, and have an amazing day, whatever it is you're doing for the rest of it. And I will see you again tomorrow. Take care. Thank you for watching. Bye.